Masters Radio presents Music History Episode 4. Creed. is an American rock band from Tallahassee, Florida. Creed was prominent in the post-grunge movement. In the beginning of 1994 vocalist Scotty Stapp and Mark Tremonti had been friends in high school and then in FSU, Florida State University. They realized they both had a mutual love of writing and performing after countless discussions and time spent writing songs. They decided it's time to hold auditions and soon after acquired a bassist Brian Marshall, a drummer Scott Phillips, and a rhythm guitarist Brian Brasher Brian Burr left in 95, but after he left, they decided not to add anyone else to the band and just remain a quartet. They started to find local success in bars and small dives in Tallahassee. There was a rumor going around that they performed on the name, Naked Toddlers in Tallahassee, and that it was picked up from a headline, and that they had a horrible reaction and had to change the name, but that was not true what had happened was while trying to find a name the joked around and said, whatever was on the front page of the Tallahassee newspaper was going to be their name, and it just so happened that when they turned it over, it was a story about a naked toddler being found, so after that reveal, the idea was trashed and they had to continue to look for a different name that's when Marshall said he had been in a band called Maddox Creed Staff latched onto the Creed part and the band all agreed. They wanted a real show at a club so they managed to persuade the owner of a bar in Tallahassee to book them by claiming that they could guarantee an audience of at least 200 people. The owner and manager, Jeff Hansen recall that they did mostly cover versions, but a few originals. He distinctly remembered two original songs that stood out and impressed him so much that he signed them to his management and promotions company. He set them up with his producer. Together they recorded their debut album funded by Harris for $6,000, so My Own Prison was released with Blue Collar Record, selling a little bit over 6,000 copies through Florida. After the album floated around the industry for a while, Diana Meltzer from Wind Up heard the album almost immediately knew that she wanted to sign them. Creed had been rejected by Atlantic and was being looked at from Cherry Universal before Wind Up flew down to sign them on the spot. My Own Prison was remixed and re-release by Wind Up Records in August 1997 the singles, My Own Prison, Torn, What's This Life For and One all reached number one on Billboard Mainstream Rock Tracks chart. Creed became the first band to accomplish this with a debut album. My Own Prison sold over 6 million copies and went platinum six times over with money made from this album. They started on their second album and by July 1999, Human Clay was released the first single hire spent 17 weeks on top of the rock radio charts later in 2009 it would be named 95th greatest rock song of all time and human clay was such a success it sold over 10 million copies and debuted number one on billboard 200 becoming one of the few rock albums to be certified diamond by the riaa recording industry association of america this became Creed's first album to hit number one in the united states in 2000 they ended up releasing three singles what if with arms wide open and are you ready by the end of 2000 and in 2001 they would win their first grammy award for with arms wide open for best rock song and the winner is <laughs> ah. human clay green wow i'd like to thank my parents for this one um definitely brett hesla for helping us out andrew Andrew Weiss for managing our tour this year, and most of all, our fans and uh, Pari Smith Guitars. Thank you. Love you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, fans. Love you, Jagger. Daddy's coming home soon. Thank you, guys. By the middle of 2001, Marshall had left the band due to personal reasons. He eventually ended up forming a new band called Grand Lux with his old band mates from Maddox Creed. He was soon replaced with Brett Hessler from the band Virgos Merlot for touring purposes mostly still continue to work on the third, but Tremont chose to play bass on the record to preserve the band initial core. While Hessler did most of the touring, 
and in November 2001 Weathered was released and their single My Sacrificed in the band a Grammy Award for Best Rock Performance by a duo or group with vocal in 2003. The album became a commercial bestseller and certified platinum six times over and debuted number one on the Billboard Top 200 but soon after the group sadly disbanded in June 2004. After Stapp opted for a solo career by November 2004 Tremonti and Phillips reunited with Marshall to form a new band called Alter Bridge in the same year adding singer Miles Kennedy to the band. Later in 2009 Creed announced the band was reunited. In an interview Stapp elaborated on the reunion and said we never felt like we weren't together. We are not looking at this as a reunion. It's more of a rebirth than in June Creed performed with Marshall on bass for the first time in eight years and by October 2009, Creed first album in eight years Full Circle was released, after tour of another album. The band went on a hiatus between 2012 and 2013, and after going separate ways and doing their own ventures, tours, and so many other things hope came back for many fans on July 19, 2023 when Creed announced that they reunited and would be headlining summer of 99 tour their first tour since 2012, and that is the come up of the iconic band Creed and how they persevere through good times breakups and above all the reuniting of great friends and artists. Thank you so much for watching Masters Radio's music history. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell.